I'm Real Generic Demon, and this is Bruce Lee on the Amstrad CPC. I'm playing this on my 464. I have actually got, um, I've got this on tape. Um, I'll stick up the screenshot shortly. I'm actually playing this though through uh, the the Zaxxon um, uh, floppy drive emulator. I'll put a link in the description below because it's a cracking product. Um, it allows you to sort of um, emulate a, 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 basically emulate a floppy drive. Um, but that means that you get a speedier load for, for your games. But I still like the fact that it's still, at the end of the day, it's still, it's, it's still, it's still, um, you know, an uh, Amstrad that it's playing on. Anyway, right, okay, so Bruce Lee, one of my personal favourites, a game that I've played for years and years and years and years. Um, I've played it on pretty much every format. Um, the, the, the Amstrad version, however, to me, is a little bit of a, a new one, so I'm quite looking forward to playing it, actually. Um, I think they're almost the similar keys, though. QA, QZ... Um, um, smaller than, greater than, um, and then punch. Right, okay, so we'll go for it. Um, you, the thing about Bruce Lee that I always find the most amusing, or would, I find great about Bruce Lee, is oh, I love that overarm punch. Look at that. Spectrum one's more straight, and this one's more overarm. So Reminds me of the Commodore version, actually. Um, uh, however, brighter. Commodore version isn't exactly as bright. No, you don't let him, don't let him hit me too many times, or I'll get knocked out. You're meant to collect the lanterns. Basically, it's an evil wizard, um, and I think to get his treasure, you have to collect these lanterns to open up various places. I quite like it because it's a combination of a karate game, you know, sort of like a chopping away with these kind of um, things, at the same time as actually being a... Um, well, a, a sort of platformer. It's good. It's good. It's a good combination, if you ask me. It's a lovely combination, in fact. Um, okay, up we go. Jump, 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 jump. Plays very similar to the Spectrum, actually, to be fair. There we go. Okay. Chop. Chop. Okay. I want to get that one. Let me get that lantern. They're not being nice. I like it when they start fighting with each other because they will do if you if you let if they hit each other they start sort of fighting with each other so it's kind of it, it it's it's a good game in that way in that sense as well oh. well, the image quality is bothering me a little bit there's a little bit of shadow on there a little fiddle there Let's see if I can make the cable work a bit better. It's not awful, but it's not. It's not. It's 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 upsetting me. <laughs> there we go. Jump across there. Jump across there. Jump across here. I just like the way he leaps. He kind of has this little, little bound with his legs in the air. Look, I must remember the next time I'm jumping that I'm going to jump like that. Look, the legs like bounding. Boing boing. So, oh look. Now, when you're playing as two players, as I say the other person takes the role of the 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 green sumo guy that's there, and that green sumo guy, well, he's he he's sort of your your nemesis. He, he'll try and chop you and kill you. Um, and if, as I say, if you're playing two players, it's quite good because you can you get to beat up your mates basically. Um, it blocky graphics. I think it's it's a mode zero on the the Amstrad. This is rather than yeah, got him. Okay. Oh, I knew I was going to do that. Funny thing about that was I was on my way through and I thought, I'm going to just avoid doing that. Um, I have to wait for this to... Now. Can I hit him? Yes, he's dead. Yeah. There we go. Get this one. Now, I've seen this sped run at about 15 minutes. I'm not sure I could do that on the Amstrad. I can give it a go. It's a good, as I say, it's a good game. It's one of those clever games. I like the swords on there. I like the diversity of levels as well. There are actually a few levels where the, 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 the computerised characters don't feature. Um, because they're, obviously they would be very distracting to the whole thing. But, they, but, they, but they're there. As I say, I highly recommend it. There was there was a number of Bruce Lee games written, but this is one of the. In fact, in my but my mind, this is probably the best Bruce Lee game. Um, if you want to see a full comparison, however, um, it's worth visiting um, 
my friend Baz Harding's website. I'll put a link to him and below as well, um, because he he's done he's done all of the comparisons of all of the versions, including the extremely strange um, but not too bad um, BBC Micro version. Whoa, that was close. Oh no, it was not close. Too close. BBC Micro version, which is kind of a um, an odd version. Not odd bad, but just different. There we go, got ya. I'm going to jump over here, because I need to jump over there and get this one. Like that, so we can get through in here. Careful. Thing on the floor. There it goes back the other way. Kind of, uh, do you know why I also like it? I think, you know, when you talk about martial arts and whatever else it is, I mean, there's some timing stuff that goes on in this. I mean, obviously it's a computer game, but but there's some sort of martial art style timing, you know, got to get across this bit and that bit and at the same time. Oh, God. That doesn't... Oh. I hate it when I do that. There we go. So, we'll go across here, there we go, now big jump across there, ready, let's go, straight in here, let's go in the other way, go, 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 ah, I forgot to jump, one fall left, basically it falls of your lives, I'd quite like to, to, to get a bit further, yes, and it's going back the other way, oh no! Oh, I've done it though. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Right, that's enough. Oh, I wonder how many points you need to get to another life. Uh, you normally it was normally it's normally a decent score that you need for a new life. Uh, okay, so we're gonna walk up these. Th oh, what an idiot! I can't believe I just did that. Oh, yeah. So Bruce Lee on the on the Commodore up uh, Commodore, the Amstrad CPC. What a great game! It really is. I really like. Um, of this version and I, I really like the, how it plays it's a good game it really is well worth playing anyway um, I've been your host Real Genetic Demon thank you for watching please feel free to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video bye bye now